what have I done or what was I thinking? You see, does this seem a bit familiar to you? Moments where you do something and you'll be like, oh boy, what was I thinking? What have I done? Now listen and hello everybody, it's Ishmael and your priest and I welcome you to today's video. We all have those moments where we are kind of regretting. And listen, the more we check those regretful moments, it means that we did something without thinking straight or we did something thinking that it is a well uh, put together plan, whereas <laughs> that is stupidity. Hence, I am also telling you today that listen, and I'm asking you the same question. Also, I'm asking myself, what have I just done? Lord, that is why today we have people who say, Lord, why did you let me? Why you wish you could just turn back time, isn't it? That is when people we get to appreciate, to understand the value of being led by God. But let me assure you one thing straight. Most people of most of us, uh -uh, we are not ready to be led by God. Honestly speaking, to this very day, yes, most of the time that why didn't you, oh Lord, it is mainly when it suits us. Not mainly because we want to make sure that in all that we do, we please him, the father. Uh -uh. It is only when it suits us. And when now it no longer suits us, but instead the situation works against us, we go back to him and we do what? Now we do the blaming. But then let me assure you, I know that sometimes you're like, yo, but brother Ishmael, Ah, but it's not that easy. Sometimes you don't know whether it is God. Listen, one of the ways, unless if the Lord is to teach me even deeper, but one of the ways I've known that you can never go wrong is that open up before the Lord, okay? Tell him that, oh God, sometimes I get confused. Sometimes I'm not sure whether it is me. So, but God, there is nothing impossible with you. If it is you telling me what to do, if it it's you telling me where I should go, where I, you get what I mean? No questions about it. Lord, let it be perfectly clear. Let it be something that I cannot miss. That is why sometimes you might want to go somewhere and then maybe you find out there is rain. Before you know it, oh, okay, let me go grab an umbrella. Uh, after you look for an umbrella, you don't find it. Oh, okay. Before you know it, okay, you finally find an umbrella. Oh, now they say the car is a problem. To the point where you realize that, no, I think this thing is just not working. I'm not supposed to go here. You get what I mean? That shows you that God made it a point that you seriously get the message. To the point where, even if you were to force yourself, it will be easy for you to sit down and say that, this actually, no wonder why things were not working out. I just forced myself to go. The Lord, he was making it clear that he does not want me to go there. Listen. Some of you right now, you have made mistakes, marital-wise, career-wise, life-wise, it does not matter. Whatever you might have done to open up a door for the enemy against you, may the Lord redeem you. I just pray that may God come through for you. Everything, every mistake you have made, may the Lord rectify on your behalf. I pray over you right now, from now on, May God restore all the time, all the joy, all the years that you have lost in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And of course, do feel free to book a consultation with me. My details are on the comment section below and I will see you next time.